everyone, I'm Jess, one of the recruitment and engagement officers here at Sunderland College. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about some of the safety measures that we have put in place ready for you all coming back to college. We're really excited to welcome you back, but things will be a little bit different to before the coronavirus started. So one thing to remember is, if when on your first day, if your first class is in the Bead building, you will enter through reception. If you're in any other building on the first day in your first session, you're going to enter through the side gate and you're going to go to the building you need to be in. So please try to remember that for the first day. Um, another safety measure we've got in place is we've got some screens to keep our staff and yourselves safe. Um, so if you do need to speak to any staff on reception, they can still hear you, so don't worry. Um, we also have lots of hand sanitising stations throughout the college. Please try to use this as regularly as you can. And again, that's just going to keep everyone safe across college. We are advising students if they do want to bring their own drinks in, please do so. As all of the water dispensers will be out of use because they are a common touch point and it is more than likely to be able to transfer the virus that way. And um, so just please try to remember if you do want a drink or anything to please bring it in. So when you are walking through the corridors throughout the whole college and um, you will notice that there is a two-way system in place. If you can stick to this as much as you possibly can, um, always keeping on the left hand side of the corridor that you're walking on. Try not to congregate in the corridors either. Classrooms will be open and ready for you getting there so nobody should have to queue outside either. So just remember to stick to the two-way system that is in place for everyone's safety. So if you do need to use the toilet whilst you're on campus, um, please be aware that there is signage on the doors to let you know the maximum occupancy. Please stick to that. If there is too many people in the toilets, come out and just wait until others leave. And um, that way, again, it's keeping everybody as safe as possible. Here we are in our learning centre. So if you do need to use any of our computers or borrow any books, this is where you'll come. Again, it, it, at the entrance, you will be able to use the hand sanitising stations. And I think it's really important that you do use them, especially if you're going to be using computers and handling books. With the area being such a big space, we don't have any floor marking, so we are hoping students will just keep their distance from others and be, just be safe, basically. Um, if you are using the computers, you will notice that every other computer is out of use. Again, that's keeping our students and staff as safe as we possibly can. Once you've used a computer, if you wipe it down as well as beforehand, we will have some spray available as well. And again, you can just spray the keyboard and spray the mouse before you've used it and after it. So we're in the refectory at our Bead campus. And again, you'll have a hand sanitising station in place as you walk in. Again, it is something that I definitely recommend that you do uh, sanitise your hands before you have some food. And then you'll notice that we do have a one-way system in here as well. So you'll be queuing again, leaving a good gap so you're keeping space between each other. When you do sit down and have your lunch, again, as you'll be able to see, um, we we'll have left lots of space for everyone, so it means you're going to be able to keep your distance as well whilst you're having your lunch. Um, that's just some of the precautions that we'll have put in place to keep our students and staff as safe as we we'll possibly can. Again, when you are just walking around campus, please do try to remember um, to keep your distance from each other, but we are really excited and looking forward to welcoming you back on campus from the 7th of September and we will see you all soon.